Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and welcome back to another episode of Surviving the Aftermath. We are playing at 200% difficulty and we just had a nuclear fallout which were killing a lot of our colonists. I think it was at least 30, 40 probably. And there have been some lightning strikes as well. So, uh, and we were attacked. So we have a lot of repairs to do. We have materials for everything. We are a little low on components, but we have two electronics factories that is producing that. So uh, I think we will survive. Rare metals, we have 337, and I've set the limit to 300. So we don't, well, actually 350. Um, and housing is good now since we lost so many. So let's take the opportunity to knock down a few so we can build new, better houses. I'm gonna build the big ones. And yeah, why not? Let's have one there and we flip. Have one here. Yeah, let's see if we can trade anything. We should definitely trade components. And let's do fun boxes as well. And we have a lot of fish. So let's trade 350 and 350. We have cleaned all the pollution from the map, so we can't give that away. We have a lot of automatics. We have some shotguns. We Do we need so many? I think our uh, storages are getting full. Let's have a look in the world map. Um, I'm not, yeah, you are heading uh, down here. So next turn, there will be some fighting. You are collecting that. You are probably in the car. You are on your way home. I don't remember why. Why do I send you home? Why don't we use you to collect stuff instead? Not gonna work. And uh -huh. uh, you are collecting, you are collecting, and you are in the car. Still have a few people that is injured, but we don't need to have the tents open anymore. I would probably need more hospitals since we had so many deaths during this. We, we didn't have any iron pills at all, I think. So maybe we should start building our own medicine. And I think we need... How is water? Water is good. We have all of these is up and running. So let's build a few more. I don't know if I want to close that, but we I want it protected under this one. So let's flip it and add one there and one here. We are re researching the large batteries, so we could build a few here. We have a car ready. So let's just go through all the cars and repair them. Battery stacking completed. Let's do a quick look. Is it anything that we like really, really needs? Maybe if we can do our own medicine, we need uh, this. So let's start with that. And then we can do delicacies. Oh, okay. You start with that. Oh, we need nine more. And then we can queue up some more. So big ass batteries. 
Well, let's build one. And yep, let's do it like that. Right, we we have two traders, so let's trade some more. Anything else we can get rid of? We have a lot of potatoes, a lot of cabbage. No, I think we uh, we keep it. Let's just do confirm. Two story houses built. New concrete. We are actually almost out of it, so. How is uh, the limit on concrete? 300. Let's add that to 400. There are survivors at the gate. Our doomsday bunker is working, and yeah, yeah, we're gonna clean out the the bandit camps. Ragged bunch. Five elders. No, sorry, we don't. We, we don't need you. All right, you guys are here. That's everyone, right? No. Got some pills. We can get some medicine up here. Yep. All right. All cleaned up. Well, you uh, would definitely need more item pills in case of a new emergency. And you will have a lot of stuff, okay. so go home. Well, we don't need all of these up and running, so do a third one. Yeah. Need to keep an eye on this. Let's see if the batteries are filled up. I think they will. Since we added a few, a few more solar panels recently, we won the battle. All right, let's get back in the car. All right. And we're need? gonna send you to clear yes. the camps. Which one is the closest one? We got three, so all right, they're up here. Um, Your orders. Yeah, you're collecting. Yep. So are you, you are in the car. Uh -huh. You are home. How are we doing on mixed meals? 37. That is okay. Happiness is really good. We have a few hungry, a few tired, a three starving. Well, go and eat. People are entertained and has comfortable shelter, so it feels pretty good. Uh, insulation. Right, so what do we have? We have a 36. So let's knock down these. And 
Let's do something with the roads. You can continue up here. But I don't think I want you guys. You can go there. Let's remove that one. And this one and this one. Then we should, should be able to add a few houses here. Can we fit? Like, I want a gap with three. So it's one, two, three. And then we have that heater. Now, I, I think it's going to be too tight. Let's add a house here. They will have some nice areas. Or back backyards. And I think we have a good place for a hospital here. We have some water, but we won't fit it, so. We need power and water. Yeah, let's add it there. We build a big one. Yeah, and uh, water. Let's build a small one. Boom. Mission complete. We have fuel. Moving. Item pills. You're in the car. Uh -huh. We're collecting that. Huh? All right. Yeah. Still irradiated. Written in the stars. That's the new side quest that was in the latest, well, one of the updates. As soon as the radio tower is constructed, you start picking up a signal. The voice is faint and riddled with static, and only parts of the repeating message can be heard. Anyone calling Earth help? A stunned silence follows the colony before everyone erupts into confused yet excited chatter. A radio signal is one thing, but one seemingly originated from outer space is another matter altogether. The signal needs to be amplified, and a nearby observatory might offer the technology needed. Investigate the observatory. So I guess we will send out a scientist. But you have a car, but no. Yeah, I think it's close by, right? Uh, where is... I don't... Am I blind? Find the observatory. I see those three dots there. It shouldn't be hidden, right? Oh, that, there it was. <laughs> it was too close. Sure thing. Water is getting lower. So, uh, are you still near death? Mean looking group at the gates. Ah, oh, okay. It's the ones that want to. Uh, we'll give them less than they demand. How may I help you? Yeah, you will survive this and we send you home. After that. So, we need to plan where to build our medical things. So first we need to grow herbs, or herb juice. Uh, yeah, we need to grow herbs so we can produce herb juice. And we haven't researched the, the lab yet, so... Let's... Maybe we should 
change this. So it's, yeah, medical prescription. Okay, we should definitely do that for the healing speed. And then we have medicine production and disinfectants. Yeah, I'm, I, I missed the prescriptions. Maybe we could have saved a lot of lives there. 18 colonists are still irradiated. Are they, is this, that going down? Where, where are they getting uh, the pollution from? Or is that stuck? Like, it hasn't changed in a while, right? There might be a little bug. We will soon find out. Alright, All you head home. You will soon Reporting. fight. And Ready. you are here. What do we have here. Look around and check past log. Okay, the observatory looms on the horizon, a ghastly sight. In the, waste, in the vast wasteland. A large radio telescope sits completely still as a humbling reminder of a long gone era of science and innovation. Inside, it quickly becomes evident that all that that's valuable has long since been looted. So look around and check past logs. It takes a long bit of rummaging, but uh, components to build an amplifier are finally found in one of the storage rooms. As soon as the amplifier is brought back and installed, the repeating message becomes clearer. And one out there, this is the space station Aurora 5, calling Earth for assistance. We need immediate help. The colonists scramble to send a signal back, and after a moment, another transmission arrives. What? Is this for real? You have no idea how glad we are to hear, hear from Earth. Our communications went cold a decade ago, and we've been stranded since. We're almost out of supplies. The whole colony has gathered around the radio station, listening with gap, gaping mouths and wide eyes to the tale of lost astronauts. Uh, during the Cold War, they were sent out to establish a top-secret space station to research the viability of a long-term habitation in space. The landing beacons were damaged when the apocalypse started, and without ground support, they've been stranded ever since. They asked the colony for assistance with reaching the closest command center and turning on landing beacons on the ground so they can finally come back. So should this be the International Space Station? Probably. Head to the command center. And it's... Okay, we need to fight our way there. So you guys... Um, well, you... You can hang around and wait. Because I think we're gonna send the fighters there first. It's quite far away though. So you go up here. And then you do the project tomorrow. have so much junk maybe we should uh, trade some mission complete All right get in the car and we send you home Well, we could, we could go for item pills. Let's do that one. So, item pills. Fish. Look at that. Let's do five, six. I wonder if you can afford this. And 291. And some junk. And then we go for antibiotics. And we can get rid of some more junk, I think. Let's do 700. We have cabbage. Let's do 250. Potatoes. 
corn is good fish and meat is good carrots all right now we should have some room yeah still 18 irradiated I, I i think that's broken there are none that needs hospital assistance right we got room for 23 we have let's just knock down these and then we head over here and we have these two I'm not sure. Do I want a house in here? Yeah, maybe. Prescriptions completed. So now they will heal faster. Probably not these two guys, but well, these 18 guys. But uh, I think when I when I save and reload this, they that will go away. Yeah, we have this that is taking care of the repairs. And can repair some cars as well. Mission complete. All right, let's let's head home. So you are here, ready to fight. And you just hang, you don't need to fight. Ready. You are almost home. Well, we have, oh, look at all those components. I love it. We've got a house completed, we got room for 10. These are quite crammed and we don't need them. Should we expand over here or do we want more houses? There are people working here. Um, Let's pause a few so we don't build too much. And then we also need a industrial radiator here. Should we? Yeah, I think I want it over here. You will get the power from that. Now the car is fixed. And we repair that. We won the battle. Okay, look around. Uh, I could have returned later, but okay. The shelves in the command room are filled with documents, classified files, and logs of past decades. Though none of them are what the astronauts need. Communicating with the colony via walkie-talkie and, have, and having the message then relayed to the astronauts takes significant time. But eventually, the needed folder is found with the astronauts' help. The instructions are confused, to say at least, but the astronauts' assurance it's much easier than it seems. The beacon sites are scattered around the command center, but activating them by hand seems possible. Activate the beacons. Alright, so you can activate the first one, maybe? The first beacon is located in a remote unmanned station in the middle of harsh and heavily irradiated terrain. Posters of old 
uh, world science fiction movies are tap taped to the walls above the spare battery powering the beacon. As the astronaut said, the activation is much less complex than the instructions made it seem. After the beacon is activated, the cheers from the colonists are fully audible through the walkie-talkie as everyone is now focused on getting these poor people back on Earth. Continue to the next. So, you guys will head to the car. And you go there. The second beacon is located in a remote valley. The inside of the small station is eerie, untouched and mundane. Down to an abandoned coffee mug on the desk and an open log next to it. A logging routine maintenance from decade past. This station has two spare batteries, one apparently defunct. A nimble person could maybe get some parts out of it. Okay, we, uh, we can. Continue to the last one. So, I'll send you up here and yep. you will get in the car. A lot of injuries. What are you doing? Why are you getting injured? You're almost dead. Yep. Yeah, because you just got back. We got 76 mixed meals. Well, the medicine thing. We can start growing things. So we have this area. Um, let's build. Do we need two greenhouses? And I think you need heating as well. There are survivors at the gate. We still can't build a small one, right? So let's do that one and you also need water probably. Do we have a food storage in this area? We don't because we want. Can we? F Maybe we should have the production here. And then we can drop off. We build a special herb. Herb thing here. Group of survivors. Ragged bunch. Yeah, welcome. So, build next. You are in the car, and you head for this. Yeah, we have these three to fight. What's up? Found something. With the pull of a lever. The last beacon is up and running. The astronauts erupt in cheers when they get that news. We'll start the landing procedure. We're going to have to land our cargo separately, so keep an eye on the skies. One of the astronauts warns and then continues, a little choked up. We'll never forget what you did for us. We're finally on our way home. For a time, nothing happens, but eventually a loud rumble starts echoing from the skies. The spacecraft comes to interview, leaving behind a long smoke trail. Two cargo capsules land relatively close by. They surely won't stay untouched for long. The smoke will attract bandits and survivors alike. Take a detour to loot the capsules, go straight to the landing site. So, I guess the landing site is here. All right, we, we will send you guys there. Um, okay, we will send you back. I guess you can head home, or should we grab some science? I think there is a few patches up here. 
Or maybe we, we send you home and you grab a car. That will go much quicker. Eight hundred. What do we need? Thousand. All right, so we need two hundred more. All right. There's an incoming winter storm. Let's harvest our uh, these guys. So. I will also change. We're already harvesting. So are you. And you are also harvesting. And when this is built, we will dedicate this to this. Then we could ban everything else. Yep. And then we'll build uh, a couple of medical labs here. So I'm not sure we have. Yes, we do. Right, next turn, and you guys are heading home, and you are in the car. Okay, guys, we are growing herbs, and uh, soon we can produce our own medicine. But we will continue with that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back for the next one. Bye-bye.